Living a healthy, balanced life as a mom can sometimes feel impossible. With tiny mouths to feed, butts to wipe, and so many things vying for our attention, it can be easy to feel like we're in an on-again, off-again relationship with healthy living. But it doesn't have to feel this way. I believe every mom is a super mom, and you deserve to feel like one too, and you don't have to go on another diet to do it. Join me, Kristen Dovniak, holistic nutritionist and certified intuitive eating counselor for conversations on what it means to live a healthy, balanced life. I want to help you uncomplicate eating, improve your relationship with food, and live like the supermama I know you are. Hey friends, welcome back to the Healthy Balanced Mama podcast and welcome to day nine of the Healthy Mama Habits Restart. I'm Kristen Dovniak and if you haven't been following along, for the first 10 days of the year we're focusing on creating habits around the life we want to live in 2020. Each day you can find me here on the podcast with a mini episode surrounding today's topic as well as live at 2 p.m. Eastern in the private Facebook group and on Instagram sharing deeper thoughts about that day's topic. So if you would like to join us in the Facebook group. There's only two more days left, but you are absolutely welcome. And get the worksheets attached to these episodes, head to healthymamachris.com slash habits. That's healthymama, M-A-M-A, Chris, K-R-I-S dot com slash habits to sign up for free with your name and your email. So let's dig into today's topic. So if you listened in yesterday, I opened the conversation around gentle nutrition, what gentle nutrition means, the three facets to gentle nutrition, and discussed the importance of variety. So if you haven't listened to day eight, I highly recommend you head over and listen to day eight first so you have a general idea of what gentle nutrition means and what intuitive eating means. So before I jump into today's topic, I just want to give the same caveat I did yesterday. Mindset matters. If you are still struggling with your relationship to food or stuck in a diet mindset that is feeling like the only way to be healthy is to restrict yourself or put rules around food, whether it be type, amounts, all of that, it can be really easy to to listen to days 8 through 10 and just turn them into food rules. But that is not the intention. The intention is to give you some solid tips on improving your overall health through nutrition without dieting. So if your mindset needs a little help or you want to improve your relationship with food, I would love to invite you to join me in the Supermama Society. The Supermama Society is my online group coaching membership program rooted in intuitive eating principles designed to transform your mindset around food, learn to simplify nutrition, and tune into your body's wisdom when it comes to finding what works for you and your health. It's just like one-on-one coaching with me for a fraction of the cost in a group setting. So you can head to supermamasociety.com to learn more. Registration is only open until Monday, January 13th, and then we close until July to allow time for the members to connect and grow in their journey to becoming more positive, mindful eaters. So all of that being said, let's talk moderation. This is a big one. What does moderation mean? The truth is, moderation comes more from freedom than it does from restriction, but that's not what most of us have come to know. Moderation isn't about controlling food, it's about allowing all foods and tuning in to what actually feels good so we're able to develop the skill of self-moderating, which is a skill that we all have and we can all develop. But what society tells us is that moderation is controlling our food. It's restriction. It's elimination of foods that we think we shouldn't have. But moderation doesn't mean elimination or restriction. What moderation means is not going to extremes. And moderation applies in all areas of our life. Have you ever heard the phrase, there can be too much of anything, even good things? This totally applies here. Let's take apples, for instance. We know apples are good for you. No one's going to argue that an apple isn't nutrient dense and apples are great. But if you eat 20 of them, you'll likely feel pretty sick. So moderation isn't achieved by force, but by learning what feels good and following your body's cues based on this. This is why portion control isn't necessary for intuitive eaters. Because it's not about control. It's about attunement to both the eating experience, so mindfulness, and our bodies. 
The more you tune in to what feels good, what types of foods and what amounts and allow all types of foods so foods don't feel off limits and you don't feel that pull of rebellion when you allow yourself to have these off limit foods, moderation starts to become second nature. And this is something we dig in so much deeper into in the Supermama Society. So if you're considering joining us in the Supermama Society, if you loved these past nine days of the Healthy Habits Restart, you will love the Supermama Society. It's an awesome, supportive community. You get access to me through monthly masterclasses, through um, live Q&As, as well as weekly audios to inspire and encourage you and help you learn how to tune into your body, how to add more variety to your food so you're eating nutrient dense foods, but also eating foods that taste good and are really satisfying and learn the skills of self moderation and find your beautiful balance. So I'm going to leave this at that for now and we'll go a little bit deeper into moderation in the live today at 2 p.m. Eastern over on Instagram at Healthy Mama Chris or in the private Facebook group. If you're a part of the private Facebook group, that is where the conversation happens. I want to keep the conversation up, answer any of your questions you might have. Um, So I can't wait to have you join me there and I will see you tomorrow for the last day of our Healthy Mama Habits Restart. Thank you, friends, so much for listening to this episode of the Healthy Balance Mama podcast. I truly hope it encouraged and inspired you today to live a healthier life without restriction. If you enjoyed this podcast, would you do me a huge favor and give it a star rating and review in iTunes? Every rating, review, and subscribe helps this podcast be seen and heard by more women who need to hear it. You can find me, Kristen, on Instagram and Facebook at Healthy Mama Chris or on my website, healthymamachris.com. As a reminder, the information and opinions on this podcast are intended for information and inspiration only and are not a substitute for professional medical advice or treatment. Please consult with your healthcare practitioner before making any changes. See you in the next episode.